hello guys in this video I'm going to show you how to flash any Android phone the first step is to download the flashing tool which is called uh, SP flash tool uh, I'll leave the link in the description so that you guys can download the latest version according to your operating system there is Windows and there is also Linux so you will download SP flash tool from this website spflashtool.com slash download slash the next tool that I'll need you guys to download is called Maui Meta tool so this Maui Meta tool is going to help you to, to flash the email numbers of your phone if it is a single sim or a dual sim it will still work this tool is very helpful when it comes to flashing email numbers I'll also leave the link on how you guys will flash the email numbers and the third thing that you need to download is is the firmware or the operating system of your specific phone so remember the firmware is specific to your phone if it is Infinix you must specify the model number if it is Tecno if it is Samsung HomeTom or any other phone Nokia you must be specific on the model of the phone not just the Nokia for example uh, if you have a, a phone like let's say HomeTom S9 Plus so you can see this on S HomeTom S9 Plus and normally you can get it from any of these websites and see get yes this is the specific phone that I wanted to download the the firmware so any of these can do so I've already downloaded the firmware I downloaded this one and I wanted to show you guys how to flash so of course alongside the drivers you'll download alongside the drivers Vcom drivers so that the computer can communicate to your phone when you'll be flashing without any problem so you can also follow this link I'll leave the link in the description or you can search for Vcom drivers for Android phone or or for your specific phone. Although Windows 10 is is quite uh, good at picking drivers, so you, you don't really need to. Sometimes you don't really need even to install drivers for Windows 10. It just picks up automatically. Now we go now to flashing. Now the first thing you must do before you start flashing. Please note down your email numbers and you can search for your email numbers using the following code. You can just type on your dialer, just type star ash 06 ash and you'll be shown your email number whether it's for single sim or dual sim. If it is single sim you'll see uh, 15 digits 1 sim 1 and that is it if you are if you have two sims it will show you sim 1 email number and sim 2 email number write them down somewhere because you'll need them later in some countries it is illegal to change your email number other than the original one that came with your phone so it is important that you retain your email numbers remember also that you'll be blocked from communicating in your network if you don't have a main number so you won't be able although this tool will install an automatic email number on your phone if it is a dual sim you'll have a problem because it will it will use the same email number for sim 1 and sim 2 which is of course not possible you cannot use the same email number on a network you'd be blocked 
by your provider so once you've done that you'll now go to you once you've downloaded sp flash tool navigate to where it is extract it it comes with a zip file extract it uh, i've already extracted mine i hope you know how to extract or unzip so once you've done that go to the folder where the sp flash tool has been extracted to and then go to flash tool dot exe file double click okay so as you can see it automatically loaded because i had already loaded but uh for your case uh it will not automatically load so you will need to go to uh, scatter loading tool you need to click choose and once you click choose it will redirect you to where you downloaded your firmware or the operating system for your specific phone and then once you you are there you will choose the scatter file it will end with it will be something android scatter dot txt it will be a txt file so once you click it and you just click it and click open it will it will now upload all the files it is it is like an index file for all the operating system files so once you've done that you are ready and i'm assuming by now you should have uh, installed the drivers so the next thing then you'll do is first of all depending on what you want to do you can download only or you can format all and download if you want to clean install you want to format everything or you can also choose whether you want to leave out some partitions or you want to uh, download all so if you are downloading all you can choose to format all and download or download only please note that you should have chosen the right operating system or the right firmware for your specific phone failure to which your phone may be rendered useless and may not work properly if at all it will start up so you must be very careful with that you have to be extremely careful and then the next thing now you will do is to connect first of all you will click download once you click download connect your phone to the USB first of all connect your your phone to USB and then connect now your USB to your computer once you do that you'll be able to see that it will automatically start downloading the firmware to your phone and make sure your phone you must switch it off first to your phone you have to switch off your phone and then after switching off is when now you plug in so switch off now plug in and once you plug in to start showing you to start downloading automatically the operating system and when it is complete you'll see a green tick here and it will show you that it has finished downloaded downloading you just close and then uh, that will be it. your phone will have been flashed the firmware will have been flashed on your phone so the next thing that you'll do is to go to the maui meta tool the you should go to where you downloaded it in my case it is here so and then you will just click it, this one this exe file this execute executable file you should just run it and it will install like in my case 
it is here and then once it is installed uh, you should you can run it and when it once it is run uh, I'll leave the link to show you guys how you can easily flash your email number it is a very simple process and uh, you will choose email download here uh, connect your phone reconnect it will give you an option a pop-up to enter your email number so you will input the email numbers that you had recorded earlier and then you just click OK and it will flash the email numbers in case you guys will be will not be able to uh, flash email numbers successfully and you need me to do a video you guys can tell me and then I can do another video to flash email so that is it guys that is how to flash uh, any if any android phone and i hope you guys learned something see you guys bye bye